drastically different. Uh, their head position is a little bit different, but their position, it is more comfortable for him to be able to put out higher watts and still be smooth and not waste a lot of energy. Anytime, you know, you're wasting energy, but anytime you're moving around aerodynamically, that is not a benefit to the athlete. That is wasted energy um, that actually slows the athlete down as he's trying to push through the air. So, John Ferdino has a very, very smooth, quiet position uh, that turns, you know, the, the product is he's very aerodynamic and he can slide through that air. That's right. I think one of the other things that we just mentioned, we talked about Jan Ferdano, and I like to look at this, is uh, he, uh, Lenga on the right side of your, your screen here has not, not, he's not really able to get that heel down in sort of power position. He points a lot more at the bottom, okay. and I feel like that's really uh, costing him. I think that that gives you, uh, gives away a little bit of the power that you could be generating on the backside uh, there, you know, and it's just something that maybe he could look at as we, as we keep an eye Matt on yet another German, former Ironman world champion, Norman Stadler. He's come in and said, go Frodo. So we see you out there. And that's our 2004, 2006 winner over in Kona. Uh, what a great champion. And he's watching here on Facebook watch. So thanks for being here, Norman. And, and we'll uh, pass along your, uh, your cheers for your countrymen. Yeah. And that's a, that's a, a classic uh, German hero uh, in Norman Stadler. Uh, Patrick Lange talked a little bit earlier about German men and kind of that, uh, you know, that, that challenge. In